How's it going, everybody? Today I'm going to talk about graded exercise therapy, uh, or GET, um, a controversial topic in the ME CFS community. I'll put some links in the description if you're not too familiar with uh, with GET that you can kind of catch up on it a little bit, read about it. But I'm going to jump right in. Um, I personally don't think graded exercise therapy is a, a valid treatment for ME. In fact, I think it is uh, dangerous and detrimental to the vast, over, for the vast majority of people doing it. There's plenty of studies now proving that graded exercise therapy is detrimental uh, to ME and CFS sufferers. Now, studies also show that there is a very small group of people that it does help somewhat significantly. So the reason that it's been such a contentious topic is because both sides are actually right. There are people that have gotten better from doing it. I've met some myself. And then there are people that have gotten significantly worse, some permanently, from trying it. Um, my belief and the studies prove and show the overwhelming amount of people don't do well. And that's why I think it's very important for anyone recommending GET or sharing their story saying GET help them uh, to not only say, you know, it worked for me, I don't know if it'll work for you, but I think it's important to disclose it may be dangerous for you to try. Um, Emmy is a very complex illness that entails neuroinflammation, central nervous system issues, the innate immune system, the gut, uh, all the way down to the cellular level. Uh, and it's not an illness you can just fix by conditioning yourself more. Um, I, I find that to be insulting to a degree um, and detrimental to not only the person who's going to practice this most of the time, but also to the overall stigma behind ME that it's some kind of choice or it's in your head or it's uh, there because of a lack of effort or conditioning. Okay. Um, a lot of people that have ME were marathon runners, rock climbers, soccer players, bodybuilders. These aren't people that are afraid of pushing through. That being said, um, as complex as ME is, some of the most simple things you want to avoid are crashes, which come from overexerting yourself. In other words, you don't want to do too much to overexert yourself because it causes crashes. It causes post-exertional malaise. It flares many of your symptoms up, uh, which include fatigue, which, in, which include brain fog, uh, brain fog, include uh, uh, gut issues and joint pain. And it, the list goes on and on and on. So I think any type of uh, treatment that can cause all of that, it's something you should take into consideration with your doctor and really talk to them about and research on your own about. I'm not a doctor. I'm not telling you to do it or not to do it. I'm telling you that I think you should really, really educate yourself and do the research on this topic before you do anything. And that there's a lot of people out there saying my road to recovery is because of graded exercise therapy that's probably true for them. Um, they're probably telling the truth and, it, they, and it's great that they feel better. But what a lot of them aren't saying um, is that the vast, vast majority of people will deteriorate from doing it, whether or not they're supervised properly, whether or not it's a really slow program of graded exercise therapy. Um, there are some reviews, I'll put these links in the description and editorials that I'll read. Um, for example, this one, it says the success claim for GET to treat MECFS is unjust. It is not only hardly more effective than non-interventions or standard medical care, but in many patients, they report that the therapy had affected them adversely. The majority of them reporting substantial deteriora deterioration. This review shows that exertion and thus GET most likely has a negative impact on ME CFS patients. 
we conclude that it is unethical to treat patients with ME-CFS with ineffective, non-evidence-based, and potentially harmful, quote-unquote, rehabilitation therapies such as GET. Um, obviously, there are other articles out there saying something different uh, that oppose this, but there's, there's an overwhelming amount of evidence that it is dangerous to do GET. Um, there's another study here that's uh, research on chronic disease that says in various surveys, most ME-CFS patients experience no improvement after uh, CBT, which is cognitive behavioral therapy. And more than half of the patients reported graded exercise therapy made them worse. No less than 74% of the patients reported worsening of their symptoms after graded exercise therapy. So there are a lot of studies uh, showing that it's not a good idea for most people, but there are some people it helps. So that's why this is a very contentious issue um, because neither one is fully wrong. You know, there are people uh, making videos and sharing their experiences on how they feel way better. They got their life back from graded exercise therapy, but more often than not, they don't share it, that it's actually detrimental to most people who try it, and that is in fact, can be considered unethical as a treatment for ME and CFS. So that, that's very important to consider. Um, CPET testing, cardiovascular pulmonary exercise testing, uh, by many is considered the gold standard of measuring where you're at with CFS. And it's, it's essentially, I'll put some links in the description about that as well, so you can read up on that if you're not familiar with it, but it, they essentially um, connect you to uh, a bunch of monitors and they monitor all your functions while you exercise and then repeat the exercise a couple days in a row. And they see your recovery. They measure your oxygen levels, your heart rate, everything. And people with ME are, very odd in the sense that we don't recover from exercise like anybody else. It's, it's a very weird thing. People with lung cancer and COPD have done the CPET testing and on the following test recover somewhat normally. Obviously they have restrictions on a lot of other health issues going on, but exercise doesn't seem to severely worsen them and they tend to recover. Uh, people with ME and CFS more often than not do not recover the following day doing the exact same exercise. They get worse a lot of the times, sometimes lasting weeks, months, or years. So that's something to take into consideration um, before considering doing GET. Um, science is proving that exercise over exertion is in fact harmful for people with ME and CFS. That's why a lot of people pace themselves. They keep their heart rates down, their stress levels down. They try not to overexert themselves in order to not flare up other symptoms. They watch their diet. All these things kind of keep you from having that inflammatory type response that causes all these issues. Um, so, to conclude here, I'm not a fan of, of GET. I think it's uh, detrimental. I know there's certain countries and places of the world that swear by it. Um, I don't. And I all the, the main reason for making this video is that I just hope people get out there and do a lot of research before getting into this. Um, just read what's out there, read the studies, and take into consideration that this can hurt you based on some of the things um, some of the studies out there. Um, so consider it, talk to your doctor, talk to your doctor about your concerns, show them what you've researched, um, articles, reviews, and studies, and really give it a good thought before you just jump into it. Um, and, and that being said, I'm happy for the people that have done it and that it's worked for, because I know there is a small percentage of people that they got their life back from doing it. And, and, their opinion and their experience matters as well. Just because there's evidence showing there's an overwhelming amount of people that it's harmful for, it doesn't mean there aren't people that it helped, even though they're the small percentage. But it is just important to realize they're a small percentage of people. 
Um, I'd love to hear your opinion on Get, and I'd also like to know your experiences if you've, experience if you've done it um, in the comment section. Um, I'm, I'm curious to see. I, I, I know people get pretty fired up about this. Some people get really mad about this because this isn't this illness is not a deconditioning illness. People aren't sick because they're deconditioned. I want to put that out there before I wrap here. Um, and that's what gets people mad about this whole graded exercise therapy thing. It kind of implies that you just need to work a little harder at conditioning over the long haul of a year or two and you're going to get better. And this isn't a deconditioning issue. Um, that's been proven time and time and time again. Um, if it was, I'd be better for sure. Uh, I'm not afraid of hard work. I'm not afraid of pushing through. I'm not afraid of working out. So um, if it was as simple as doing that for a year or two or five or 10, I would do it. Um, it's not that simple. So I'm going to wrap this up. Please let me know your experience. Uh, until next time, take care.